Good morning, everyone of Wall Street Media. This is Ekaterina. I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you to make money in the stock market with information you cannot find anywhere else. Hey, we've got exclusive stuff from the Needham Biotech Conference. Good stuff. Are you going to start with management changes? Yeah, let's start with management changes. And we just um, have one. Yeah, just one for today. Aaron Callan, CFO, and Joseph Gregory, COO of Lehman Brothers, have been removed from their positions effective immediately. And uh, if you're interested, uh, we made a lot of money over the years uh, trading on management changes. And uh, Andy Pickup, our buddy, he was in the other day. Uh, he's got a uh, twist and at Libram.twist, uh, TWST, that is, for the Wall Street transcript. Uh, you can sign up and get uh, the Libra management changes sent to you every morning. Cool. You have stuff for us from Nita? Yes, I do. Um, Eric Dobmeyer, Chief F Business Officer for Seattle Genetics, ticker SGEN, discussed the company's third successful clinical program currently underway. SGN 33, SGN 35, and SGN 40, which they have um, partnered up with uh, Genetech for. Uh, Genentech covers costs for R&D, manufacturing, and commercialization. Yeah, we did these guys a bunch of times. I, I bought them after we did them out in Seattle at the bio um, uh, conference, but I've sold them in the meantime. Th there's an awful lot of people working in the same space. Um, although these guys seem to feel like they're a bit ahead of, of the others, you know, so kind of interesting. I, I, I get excited by all the biotechs. Okay. How about this one? Torsten um, Hombeck, Dr. Torsten Hombeck, CFO of GPC Biotech, ticker GPCB, mentioned that revenues from the company's collaboration with Celgene are at 2.5 million, and they have selected new clinical trials with Straplatin for treatment of solid tumor in 2008. I, I really think this could be like we had the dot com bubble and we had the housing bubble and commodities. Um, and they all came and went, right? Mm -hmm. And once the biotechs, I really think this could be like a turning point. And this could be like the miracle, maybe not this year, but like this year and next year. The bubble. Um, could, but I don't think it's going to be a bubble. That's the only difference is I think it could be a sea change, more mm -hmm. like technology was than the internet actually was, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Because so many of these companies are so close. And, you know, if these are the guys the breakthrough and have the treatment for solid tumors, right? It's not going to go away. It's not like a one-time yeah. pop, like they were in style and now they're gone, right? Um, it, it, they're going to they're going to go straight to the roof and yeah. then it's going to stay there, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's just really hard because they're starting to get close. It's getting interesting and exciting, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can still get them cheap. These guys are up 15% this morning. That's so uh, people might like them a little bit and that's why we do the show is to bring you highlights like this. These guys are up 15% in the morning. The market's a little shaky, right? Dow's up one and a half, one and a quarter now. Uh, NASDAQ's up one and a half percent. These guys are up 15% this morning. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they're, they're all getting so close. It's just a matter of, like, who finally crosses that line and can really do it, you know? Yeah. And then once they do, though, it's not going to be a bubble. It's going to remain high. You know, I mean, you don't treat the first group of people and no one else has that condition. You've got, you know, a pretty good market for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that is great. Super interesting stuff. Yep. Um, are we moving forward? Yep. Hmm. CEO Jake S. Philip of BioLace Technology, ticker BLTI, stated that the company's short-term goal are to redesign the sales and distribution channels, to refocus the marketing approach, and to start looking for partnership to bring some more of the company's non-core technologies to market. Yeah, we work with these strategy. guys often. We work with these guys quite a bit. They do like lasers for dental procedures and cosmetic stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Co-founder co -founder and CEO, CEO Fred Moll of Hansen Medical, ticker HNCN, spoke about SM. the... SN, SHSN, spoke about the company's dynamic sensei robotic catheter system and the 23 systems established worldwide in Q108, as well as the new 64,000 square foot facility, which will prove beneficial given the 16 current patents and more than 100 patents application currently in the pipeline. Wow, man, they've got some busy scientists, huh? Yeah, yeah. Working they must have hired all the Russian scientists, huh? I, I would assume so. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, Pete Roddy, CFO and VP of Pain Therapeutics, ticker PTIE, talked about the partnership with King Pharmaceuticals, with whom they announced the submission of a new drug application called Remoxy to the FDA on Tuesday. Remoxy is a formulation of oral oxycodone designed to reduce <laughs> Don't be pointing at me, German Mike. Give <laughs> sugar to me. See, are you using He's this? Are me. you using this? Are yes, I'm trying to get some more today. I think so. I'm pointing at the <laughs> no, you were not. He does that stuff. So, dog. Did you see him? So, dog, this is news for you. I know. Remoxy is a formulation of oral oxycodone designed to resist methods of drug abuse and misuse. See, he's the devil. He's the devil. He's over there going like this. This is news for you. I have Tori calling them right now, this morning. I just go, yeah, see, you, I'm giving it to him. Then I'm going to get lighter and said I interrupted you. He's over there teasing me, going like this. <laughs> and what's that? You're the devil, Jordan. Um, I need this stuff, but I don't want any. I don't want anything taken out of it or just resist abuse. I'm going to get Tori. I get Tori on the phone with the number for those guys you got, German Mike. They never call me back. The drug business must be good. Well, maybe you need some of that, you know. So you'll be calmer, you'll talk less, and you can actually work here, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the oxycodone thing. You, you think it'll help? Down on those I'll, ones. I'll calm down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we have a last news here. Lloyd Malco, president and CEO of Seno RX, the ticker is S E N O, discussed the company's opportunity for market leadership with the Encore breast biopsy system and the recently launched Contura radiation balloon, which offers expanded treatment possibilities in accelerated partial breast irradiation. Yeah, I don't know anything about these you guys. Don't know um, I don't even know if we worked with them before, which means nothing. My ignorance is legendary, <laughs> um, you know, and extensive. It's only its depth is only matched by how broad it can be, That's okay. as well. Uh, pain therapeutics up today, Jeremy. Mike, I'm killing you for that, by the way. I would just like you to know. Um, he got me the number for these guys. It's pain management clinic two blocks down. Should I die? <laughs> you know what? I'll just turn myself in if you die. <laughs> um, thanks for coming in, helping out this morning. Uh, guys, uh, we've got a bunch more today for Needham. Uh, and we have Avondale Partners, inaugural behavioral health care conference. German Mike's going to be sent over there shortly. Hopefully, they'll be able to treat him. <laughs> you bugger. Um, and thanks for coming in and helping out. My pleasure. Okay, we're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thank you.